Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently, Tejas has roared in the skies of Dubai with its breathtaking performance and maneuvers. The idea behind featuring Tejas in Dubai Air Show was much more than showcasing the India's indigenous fighter jet. The real customers or the countries with their interest in Tejas are Malaysia, Argentina and Egypt. Yes, you heard it right. There is an addition of a new potential customer which is Egypt for Tejas. This is the reason why Tejas was fielded in Dubai Air Show. Speaking with Business Standard, the HL chief said, We are going to Egypt for that reason. The idea is to manufacture the Tejas, thereby setting up a factory for them over there. The HL team will be soon in Cairo after a conclusion of Dubai Air Show 2021 to have talks with Egyptian Air Force official for the possible sale of LCA Tejas aircraft to Cairo. There are already very high chances of Tejas getting selected for Royal Malaysian Air Force, which is now looking for urgent procurement of fighter jets in the lights of recent attempt of incursion of their airspace by PLAF. Interestingly, an MOU has also been signed with Metals and Minerals Trading Corporation of India as channelizing partner for import of palm oil for likely counter trade for the sale of LCA Tejas to Royal Malaysian Air Force. RMAF standard requirement includes mid-air refueling, beyond visual range combat and supersonic flight capabilities. Manufacture must be localized in Malaysia to extent of 30% of aircraft and delivery must begin within 36 months of the contract. Speaking to Business Standard, HL Chief R. Madhavan said that HL met almost every one of the RMF's requirement. The Tejas is technically ahead of the Chinese Pakistani JF-17 and other competitors. One or two of the Malaysian parameters that we do not meet can be easily engineered. For example, we can quickly add on the onboard oxygen generating system OBOJS they have specified. Talking about Argentina, it is looking for 12 supersonic fighter jets to replace its aging fleet of French Mirage 3 and 5 fighter jets and also US built A4 Skyhawk subsonic fighters. LCA Tejas with compound delta wing and tailless aircraft fits with the need of Argentina. Even the best part is that it can use Russian, Israeli, European and Indian missiles. The only challenge with Argentina's deal is the UK embargo dating back to the Falklands War on the supply of British defense equipment to Argentina. HL will have to replace more than 50 systems and subsystems such as Martin Baker ejection seat. In addition, it will have to test and certify the replacements fitted because of which there will be an additional cost. The cost negotiations are in progress between HL and Argentina and is expected to be completed by this month in. The light combat aircraft LC Tejas is a combination of latest concepts and technologies like relaxed static stability, advanced glass cockpit, integrated digital avionics system, fly-by-wire flight control and advanced composite materials for the airframe. The aircraft with 4.5th generation capabilities is equipped with air-to-air -air missile, air-to-surface missile, anti-ship missiles, bombs and rockets. It is the lightest multi-role supersonic aircraft of its class. It can travel at a maximum speed of 2,205 km per hour for FOC version and 2,000 km per hour for IOC version. MK1A version of the Tejas is going to be outfitted with modern AESA radar, glass cockpit, helmet mounted display and side and electronic warfare suite with new avionics. The LCA Tejas brings all these advanced capabilities with an attractive price tag of Rs. 280 crore per trainer aircraft and 309 crore for Tejas MK1A which is cheapest among all the trainer aircraft with 4.5th generation capabilities. All these attractive features bring the interested international customers like Australia, Argentina, Egypt and Malaysia looking for either trainer aircrafts or a light combat aircraft or both. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, 
I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector